G'day viewers, Phil from Edward Lees. Check out this beautiful Belika D5. This is the second one that we've imported. So I think uh, this is probably one of the first in the country. We know there's uh, two others, one we've imported and one the compliance shop has imported. But have a look at this, this is a gorgeous one. It's a 2007 model. It's traveled just 40,000 Ks and I've just driven it around the block. I'm absolutely amazed at how well this thing drives. Now it's a little bit of a deceiving vehicle. It doesn't look that big. In fact, it looks a lot smaller than the old Delica, uh, and it is, but they've just improved it in every way. Uh, it is still a seven or eight seater. This one's an eight seater. Very, very compact design. Very, very comfortable, luxurious interior. But it's just better in every way. It's a nice car to drive. It's more like a car than a bus. The old Delicas were a little bit bus-like. I know there's a lot of Delica lovers out there that won't like hearing me say that, but that's just the way I feel about it. Good truck, but it's, it's that. It's a truck. This is more like a car. It's a monocoque design, uh, so it's a much lighter design. It's not on chassis rails like they used to build trucks. And this is a top-of-the-range model. It's got parking sensors, reverse camera, uh, front forward parking camera, side parking camera, electric door on one side, dual sliding doors on both sides, very cleverly thought out design vehicle. It's a 2.4 litre petrol engine, it's got bags of torque and I would actually go so far as to say it's, it's a great engine for this vehicle, it's got plenty of grunt. Uh, you put your foot down and the thing takes off. And I reckon it looks fantastic. Have a look at the front end there too. Uh, it's got more ground clearance than the old model. So there's, there's a lot of height there between the body and the ground. So they've improved the ground clearance. Uh, it's got shorter entry and exit points. So if you have a look there, it's quite a stubby nose on it. There's not much overhang at the front. And there's not much overhang at the back. So it's a great dual range four wheel drive machine, it's really uh, I think better off road. What else can I say, it's not as high off the ground in terms of the roof height, so you can get it into your Westfield shopping centre, you can get it into your carport or garage, so it's not as tall and it's a beautifully laid out, beautifully modern car, this one's got the floor mats in it. Uh, loads of storage nooks and crannies and spaces. These things here are for tying up things if you don't want them rattling around in the back of the car. Also here there's some more tie down points that you can use here for tying things up if you're actually going to go off road. AC power outlet in the back, 12 volt in the back. The roof is also cleverly designed uh, with tie down points up here. You can use this for hanging things and storing things. There's another one here, a grab rail here, another grab rail here. These back seats fold up and they slide. It's on runners. So, clever design. You can increase your leg room or increase your luggage room in the back if you want to have your passengers seven or eight in there and you need a little bit more luggage space. These seats actually will slide forward to accommodate that extra space. Even in the tailgate they've got cleverly designed little tie down hooks. Four of them in the back. Light. That's your reverse camera here on the back. If you have a look in this mirror here, where is it? It's hidden down here. I don't know if you can see that. That's another camera. So you can see how far you are from the curb or the gutter when you're parking. Xenon lights in the front. Sexy driving lights down low, really nice design. I think this is, uh, I don't know what you'd describe it, it looks like a little mini Hummer type of thing to me with the, with the sharp front and, and rear on it. 2.4 litre petrol, I think I've mentioned that. This vehicle is available at Edward Lee's Japanese Auto Centre. It's the second one that's just arrived from Japan. If you're interested in the car, please give me a call.
My name's Phil Lee. That's my ugly mug there. G'day. Just Google our website. Google us at Edward Lee's if you'd like some more information on the company, our address, our phone number, etc, etc. It's all on the website. Great website. I reckon this is a great car. Thanks for watching this video. See you later.